sorry guys the camera cut off so what i was saying is that like say you don't run into this person for an extended amount of time like five years we can say and then they come through like trying to reconnect with you and you're like you have not changed at all it's as if i'm walking back into five years ago and the reason that this is being pointed out too is that like things may not have been particularly pleasant when you guys ended things like you could have really looked at them and been like i feel like we're kind of in different places um and when you hear from them later on like present day when this person reaches out to you you kind of see that they're kind of like exactly where you left them we can say that's the feeling that i get when it comes to this person reaching out again and they're still very very hung up on the past at least that's how they're presenting when they first reach out to you is how i'm seeing this they may be going through a hard time. I'm seeing someone feeling quite stressed out. They may also be somebody that, um, they can be somebody that's very hung up on their history. Usually it goes like this. Um, for some people, when they really hold on to things, like this person did that to me and like really grudge holding, usually they have very strong ties to the past. A very strong clinging we can call it to the past and so you may see this person be very much in this place and may even potentially be suffering from that of still not consciously like surrendering and letting go and that may have been something that you've kind of grown away from doing that like wanting to be in the present moment and like not holding on to the past because of understanding the implications of that but this person may still be in a space where that's still something that they hold on to and that it's become very, very heavy for them now. Feeling like it's finally beginning to have a dragging effect that they're conscious of, that they're aware of. But you may see this coming and be like, I actually don't want to get involved in that. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody come through and you just feel a very dense energy when they come through to you. And I'm seeing you be like, that is not resonating with me. Yeah, no, I'm seeing somebody be in a shadow space. A very, very deep, deep shadow space. So you get a, a feeling about this, that it's not a direction that you want to be going into. For some of you also, I'm seeing that you may actually feel badly, like, for this person, towards this person, about stuff but I'm also seeing you be like at the same time there's stuff going on presently that seems kind of radioactive to me what's interesting too is that this person may be reaching out and being like it's such a shame how things went in the past, but then you see them still be doing those same things that now they're like, it's such a shame that things happen like that. For example, it's like maybe they were, um, maybe they like repetitively lied to you in the past and they're like, yeah, it's such a shame that we couldn't trust each other and all of that stuff. But then presently, like they start lying about something and you're like, you're doing the same things over and over again. I'm seeing a situation like that where it's like there's a lack of accountability but it's weird because they're like seeking you out to talk to you and to talk about the past but they're also in the same energy that is connected with why they feel so miserable about the past i'm hearing it's a guilty conscience but they may not be aware of that because i'm seeing somebody that like they may still be very deep within their shadow space remember to shadow Shadow energy is not like this person being bad or anything like that. Shadow just means like a lack of self-awareness, a lack of consciousness. Shadow is subconscious stuff. So because this person is so much in a shadow space and they're not really connected with their intuition, they're not really seeing how they're coming across. 
especially to you as like I'm seeing from your perspective you can read this person's energy very easily there was stuff that happened in the past that you don't want to get dragged back into you may also see this as not being necessary to have a conversation that's bringing you back into the past and you can also read that this person's energy is not I'm hearing clearly resounding I'm hearing something isn't catching and it's foggy. Something about this person's energy. It's just, it's off. And you can tell. Because when you have a conversation with somebody and they come through and they're making sense to you, it's like they don't even have to use words half the time and you just like get where they're coming from. It's like we can just look at each other and I know you understand what I'm saying. But then you have somebody come through and it's like they're using so many words and you still don't really understand what they're saying and it's because there's a mismatch going on and somebody's not being honest they're not being transparent and so their energy is very different than the words that are coming out of their mouth and I'm seeing a situation like this happening here but yeah at one point in time in the past you could have really connected with this person and it could have been a very different situation. But I'm seeing you be in a very different place. I do keep getting this again. It's like, it's been years, at least energetically speaking, which I know is kind of like an out there concept, but there, you may feel like you've lived like a lifetime since you last connected with this person. It feels very different for you and you feel like you're in a very different place. And so you can see this person in a much more like objective perspective because there's a lot of healing that you've done I do keep seeing the star on the bottom of the deck this can denote your healing energy also speaks of Aquarian the archetype of Aquarius Yeah, I, I get the notion of somebody trying to kind of pull you into some sort of scheme here with the Seven of Swords and the Devil. This is like somebody that does not want to be seen. Again, it's interesting because it's like the same person that's reaching out to you and is like, hey, I want to connect or I'm offering to connect. It's like at the same time, you can tell they don't want to be seen. That's how their energy is coming through. And this is you would have also experienced this with them in the past too. With the Seven of Swords and the Devil energy, this would mean somebody that does things that they're, like, deeply ashamed of their behavior. However, like, they're not admitting that to you because they're not admitting that to themselves. And they still haven't made that connection yet of, oh, if I don't feel good about this, it's because it's out of alignment for me. And so when I start doing things that are in alignment, I feel good about myself. And, like, if I'm trying to raise my self-esteem, then I do... I participate in esteemable acts, stuff like this, but this person still hasn't connected that yet. And there's no judgment about that. That's just where they are on their journey. There's something that still hasn't clicked for them yet. This person is still very consumed in worldly things and worldly gain. So they're in a space where Seven of Swords and the Devil can be a very manipulative energy or like anything to get on top or to take advantage of other people and to like lie my way through that and to get there. Because this person really when you get down to the core of it, they feel unsafe and they don't trust themselves and they don't trust the universe and they're in survival mode. Not that it's an excuse and not that you need to then look at that and be like, oh, I'm going to have compassion now for this person and no boundaries and just let them waltz back into my life. That is not what I'm saying at all. But it's more of being in a space where it's like, oh, I see you. I can see where you're coming from. I see what's going on with you right now. And you don't need to have a judgment about that. It's just about observing where this person is and what's going on with them. I'm seeing there be a lot of patient reflecting that you're doing too. Yeah, they're trying to manifest something currently within the 3D with you, but I'm seeing they're still in a shadow space. 
even if they're come for some of you they're coming through apologizing for stuff from the past but they're doing it they're doing it because their intentions are not pure is how i'm seeing this okay is how it is it's not just me seeing it i'm picking up on this energetically it's like somebody coming through and saying sorry for something that they are definitely going to be doing again so whatever this is, again, that they're apologizing for, they are still very much in that space. And there's an awareness of that, too, is how I'm seeing this. On some level. Like, this is somebody that apologizes to you, but while they're apologizing, like, they know that their apology is BS. And they know that that doesn't mean that they would change what they'd be doing. They'd be doing the same thing and just come back and apologize again. There's, like, no accountability here. For some of you, this ha- mm, We don't need to get into that. There's, like, stuff about their upbringing and, and whatnot, but it's not an excuse and it's not really relevant to what's going on here anyway. Because you are not this person's therapist and this isn't your work to be doing either. This is their work. All you have to do is decide whether or not you want this energy in your life and what you want to do. Yeah, I'm seeing you be in a spot where you're like, this isn't resonating with me because I know what my values are. And I know what I deserve and how I deserve to be treated. And this person is not going to be able to give that to me. It's not resonating with me. You know that this person will not does not value you in the way that you deserve to be valued. I'm seeing you be in a hard pass zone when it comes to this person. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing you stop something in its track, tracks like, no, I'm not trying to re-manifest anything with you. Especially, too, because, like, you feel like your life has gotten so much better and so much more in alignment and that you actually are enjoying yourself and that you feel happy and that you feel good about, like, what's around you and all of that, that you do not want to invite this energy back into your life. I'm seeing it be very clear. Like, there's, there's not even a question about it. And you're like, I didn't go through all of this, all of these changes just to get sucked back into something that was like maybe a horrendous experience for you as you felt it. But you've learned so much through the changes that you've gone through that you recognize, I don't need this anymore. I've done the growth that I needed from the relationship with this person. And so I don't need to participate in another karmic cycle with them again. Because once you've completed the lesson that needs to be learned, you don't have to repeat it again. What you were meant to learn from the experience, because it's not just one thing, it's many things. So it's not just like one lesson, many, many things. Yeah, and now when you think about harmony within your life and when you think about stability and when you think about relationships, it's very different than how you had how you had perceived it in the past. So you're looking for a different type of thing. You also know too that as as much as you as much as part of you may still in a way feel an attachment towards this person or like a soft spot for them you know that it would just be like a temporary sense of happiness to reconnect with them and that then things would go back to how they are based off of the energy that this person is showing up with and that can be hard too because you know that if this person did their shadow work, maybe you guys would be like great compatibility wise. However, this person is still very much in their shadow. And so you know that when it comes to the type of life that you want to build, making the choice to invite them back into your life would not be in alignment with that and that you'd be doing a disservice to yourself.
And so by you focusing on this new idea of what like a healthy relationship looks like to you and what stability looks like for you and what you want to be building and the types of relationships that you want to have, by you focusing on what that looks like presently for you, it's going to, when you compare these two, allow you to see that they are two very different things. This person coming through is not compatible with how you see your life currently and what you want for yourself. And it makes it so much easier for you to see this situation for what it is. You also just want to take your, take your time with this and not feel like you need to make any sudden moves. Allow yourself to reach more and more towards the light, towards like the truth and the understanding and the objective perspective of this situation. Yeah. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm looking at Saturn, Capricorn, and Scorpio. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.